this book's data is linked we made a bind between the this array and the, the custom component so if you change this book's data if you change an observable inside it will trigger the change inside the custom book composite a way of making changes without refreshing the component is by using the observable to bind and to change automatically as soon as we change the observable value so this observable will be ready so as soon as you change that value like we are doing here as soon as we change the value it will trigger and notify everything and will update the color in this case so please note that the current book is a pointer to the object that holds the first information from the service as it is an observable we are changing this first observable and not anything else okay we need to understand how objects work in javascript that is the only data type that is not primitive so object is a non-primitive data type and we are not changing direct values we are always pointing to an address in memory and not the direct value so you can have this kind of it's not a link but we can reference always the, the first object using this logic with the observables I, I hope you understand that let me just remove the console logs and save and they it's working of course if you want to do the logic to remove you should also do a validation inside the favorites so not inside but when you are trying to open the dialog that is inside the books we receive that and we receive the book id you can also check one thing let me grab the code we did right there so let me and we want the book id and having that we can for instance if current book dot hard equals to let's use an example dot colors dot red we just remove that automatically i don't know art color it will be null here equals in red it will be red and and we will we'll also return to avoid open the dialog and we need to put that here so you can change the color only in one place let me see if i did it correctly uh no word color is not a function current book color you saw that of course you saw that i want to compare not to assign so save to be a red and as it is red when i press we remove the color to remove the list from the list of course we are not really saving to the list or removing from the list it's just uh, a display but yeah it's how you can do that you can say oh i want in favorites oh no i don't want it so it is how you can interact with your custom components with your composites be aware that what you have inside the custom component code like the html code will be rendered every time you invoke the the your composite tag so you saw that if we create a dialogue inside that composite with an id 
it will be created in this case hate dialogues you saw that we tried to use the dialog inside the composite and we created hate dialogues with the same id of course you can handle that by having some un uniqueness in the, the the id of the dialogues but we'll uh, have hate dialogues and you only want one so you should have the dialogue outside and have for example, an, uh, an event inside your composite that triggers some function where you then open the dialogue and do all the stuff you want. If you have some kind of doubt on this, please ask me in the comments and try to reach me. I will be glad to help you. I guess for now, this is it for the composites. Of course, you can build lots and lots of uh, codes uh, in a custom component or a composite. But as an example, I guess we did a pretty uh, good looking thing with these cards for, for books. Of course, you can handle that with different alignment colors and icons and other stuff. The add to card, we still need to implement that, but it is something that you can use like an event that triggers another different OJ dialog or just dispatch the event and then inside the books you just save that or in the local storage or in a service and it will have like a card display in the top bar with the amount of items you already have there you know the the basic logic for now i'm not building that maybe if you guys want it leave that in the comments and i will build or make a video on that so we covered the OJ composite we can also see and it is related mostly with the um, OJ dialog that is a tag the OJ D4 that basically only renders the HTML when we are going to use that so uh, in our case, the OJ dialog will be um, hidden in the first place and to have a little bit of performance, we just render the HTML code related to the dialog when we uh, execute the open method to open the dialog. You can see the different types of components that uh, uh, can be used or where the OJ differ can be used. I can try to show you OJ differ an example from the cookbook in, in, in the dialogues. Okay, so basically you will only need to put the OJ differ tag inside the body and load the, the module, of course. And when you press there, you, you saw that the dialogue uh, size changed. Now, the second time, the dialogue is now with the fixed height, that is the, the content height, but if I reload the page again, as the OJ differ only allows the rendering of that content inside the tag after it is being displayed on the, on the page, the first time when I press, you will see the dialogue with a small 8 and then the content is loaded and it will adjust to that height so it's small and it uh, expanded is height so um, you can see the content the second time the ojd4 does nothing because you already rendered the the code and added that in the dom so that's only the the, the change you just need to put the ojd4 tag and load the um, d4 import gs so you are used to it so you need to load that and when you open it it will be rendered and that's it from the video for today i hope you enjoy it see you in the next video